I think Obradorio is different because it's uh, like a family environment. You know, it's not, uh, you know, just about, you know, winning the next game. I mean, of course, that's important, but I think everybody here kind of makes makes you feel welcome and makes you feel at home. So that's something that's, that's different, that's positive. I, I think it's the best, you know, from what I've played. I mean, there's some other leagues that are very strong, and uh, now there's other leagues that have a lot of money. But in Spain, um, every team is, is really good. Even the bottom team can beat the top team on a certain night, and it's probably the only league like that. And also all the leagues you see that do very good in European competition, so it shows how strong the league is. So I think that that's the, the main difference, that every single night it's a tough game. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm trying my best to do it. And, you know, there's been some games where I feel like I've, you know, led us in difficult moments late in games. But, you know, there's also times where we've lost some close games and I think I need to do better. So, you know, hopefully uh, with the second half of the season, after the experience from the first half, we can keep, uh, you know, keep getting better and I can keep leading us. Um, well, I think I'm making my best assist numbers, and I think it's because, uh, you know, something to do with probably the way we play offense. We have a lot of movement and a lot of, uh, you know, ball screens and things like that, so I think that, that helps me. And, uh, you know, we've got guys that are, you know, making plays, guys that are making shots, so that helps too. Um, I hope that, you know, we can have good results as a team. You know, I know that in the first half we – you know, started very good and then finished with some difficult games. But I think we had opportunities to win a lot of those games. So hopefully in the second half of the season, we win a lot and maybe at least fight for the playoffs. So hopefully we can be remembered as, as a team that, you know, had some good results and fought really hard. That's a tough question. Um, I think that the, the thing you learn the most is how to work together and teamwork and uh, you know there's so many people from different parts of the world and different countries and different languages and you know being on a team together uh, helps you learn to work together with different kinds of people. Um, I think a, a tip could be that um, you know especially in European basketball things change so fast so you can never never get too up or too down and you know continuing to work hard throughout the whole time is, is key because you know one year you might have you know, an injury or a bad year and the next year be in a difficult situation, but things can change just as fast. You know, you can be in a difficult situation and have a great year and, you know, then you, you have a great situation the next year. So I think it's, it's good to not get too high with the good moments and not get too low with the bad moments to just try to, you know, keep working. I think that uh, in my free time, which is not that much free time, uh, in the summer, uh, I like to, you know, just hang out with friends, uh, travel as much as I can, go on vacation, see new places, go to concerts, things like that. Um, yeah, I like, I like a lot of sports. I mean, I don't really follow that closely. I mean, obviously the NBA, but um, you know, I like soccer. I like European football. Um, I like tennis. Uh, American baseball, American football. I like I like everything. Yeah, I mean, I've been in Europe for a long time. This is my 10th year in Europe, so I'm pretty used to like European culture, but it's true that being from New York, uh, it's a big city, it's a major city and and this is a very small city, so that's a difference in New York. It's very fast-paced and, you know, a lot of people just, you know, focused on their business or whatever they're doing and here it's uh a little bit slower, it's smaller, but it, it, it's nice too because you get like a family atmosphere at different restaurants you go to often and things like that, so I like it. Yeah, there's a couple of restaurants I like to go to, which is uh, Le Encontro, Italian restaurant, and uh, La Bodeguia, uh, right next to it, both of them, so I go to those a lot and, you know, they're very nice there. I watched I watched the Djokovic versus Federer semifinal match, and then I know that Murray won today, but I'm going with Djokovic. Djokovic is a king at the Australian Open, so I think the safe money is on him. <laughs>